Hello there. I suppose Admiral Quinn sent you down here to see where Bajor stands. I can tell you we're worried. The Herc were a few ships away from ravaging our homeworld, and if the Dominion falls, they'll be back, and we'll be the first to face them, so Bajor stands ready. We'll do what we can to stop the Herc, even if that means joining forces with the Dominion. There's something else I should mention. I've experienced visions recently, a sign from the Prophets. I see a place I've been before, a world beyond the grip of death. It's the home of a former Kai, and it's in the Dominion. I should also mention that I've seen you in this vision as well. I believe we're going to take a journey together soon. As Kai, I'm obligated to serve the will of the Prophets. Doing so leads me to many places, not just Bajor. That can be difficult, especially in times of war. There's been a lot of that in the last few years. First the Dominion, then the Klingons, the Iconians, and now the Herc. There are times <laughs> when I wonder how Ben Sisko managed during the Dominion War. And he was the emissary. I've tried to follow his example whenever possible, but it's... It's been a challenge. Something else on your mind? Hello there. I'm a little surprised to see a Jemadar here. I figured Odo would have come himself to find out where Bajor stands. Huh? I can tell you we're worried. If you fall, the Herc will come here and we'll be the first to face them, so Bajor stands ready. We'll do what we can to stop them, even if that means joining forces with the Dominion. There's something else I should mention. I've experienced visions recently, a sign from the Prophets, I see a place I've been before, a world beyond the grip of death. It's the home of a former Kai, and it's in the Dominion. I should also mention that I've seen you in this vision as well. I believe we're going to take a journey together soon. As Kai, I'm obligated to serve the will of the Prophets. Doing so leads me to many places, not just Bajor. That can be difficult, especially in times of war. There's been a lot of that in the last few years. First the Dominion, then the Klingons, the Iconians, and now the Herc. There are times <laughs> when I wonder how Ben Sisko managed during the Dominion War. And he was the emissary. I've tried to follow his example whenever possible, but it's... It's been a challenge. Something else on your mind? Hello again. I spoke with Odo about the vision we discussed. He's agreed to clear a mission to the old sector. Opaka, the former Kai I mentioned, lives there now. I believe so, yes. The Kai has a condition that has prevented her from leaving until now. Odo has provided us with data that could lead to a cure. If there's a chance, I'm willing to take it. Her wisdom could help us all greatly. <laughs> I realize this is a lot to take in. But I hope I can count on your help when the time comes. Uh, the recent battle here is a sample of what the Herc can do. If you think they'll stop at the wormhole, you're sadly mistaken. I need your help with a very sensitive mission. A former Kai, Opaka, was trapped on a prison moon in the Gamma Quadrant in 2369. Alien nanotech in her system prevents her from leaving the moon, but it also sustains her life indefinitely while on the surface. It seems the wardens of the prison were planning on curing and granting amnesty to the prisoners until their planet was decimated by the Herc. Somehow, the Dominion managed to obtain the cure and they provided it to us as a peace offering. The moon hasn't been hit by the Herc, but it's only a matter of time. We need to cure Opaka and the others and get them out of there before that happens. Good, we've arrived. I suggest scanning the prison moon and its satellite network. They might have fixed the design flaw we exploited here years ago to bypass their defenses. You should be able to distract the satellites by firing probes near their position. Distract enough of them and you'll clear an area long enough to safely beam down an away team. Picking up some debris clouds from Herc ships in orbit. Looks like O'Brien's trick still works. The satellites took the bait and we have a safe transport window. We're in position. 
I recommend we bring some pattern enhancers along. Local interference can make it tough to get a lock on, and we might have to leave in a hurry. All right, the doctor and I are ready to beam down when you are. Though I can't say I'm thrilled to see that moon again. Right. The last time we were here, the prisoners were eager to be cured, if only to get the chance to kill their rivals off for good. I'm hoping that Opaka has shown them a better path in the time she's been here among them. Welcome. It's been some time since we've had peaceful visitors. And Kai Kira. It's been too long. Truly, the Prophets have smiled upon us today. Indeed they have. We have brought the cure. You'll be able to live a normal life away from here. You'll be free. And we have something to bring with us. A miracle. Is... Is that... Yes. A blessing from the Prophets. The Orb of Peace. Through it, we ended the war between Ennis and Noel Ennis. As you can see, our peace has been shattered by the arrival of the hostile aliens. We have tried to speak with them, to find reason, but we have failed. We don't even know their name. They're called Herc, and there's no reasoning with them. They attack and devastate every world, every species they encounter. We need to get you and your people out of here as soon as possible. I see. We must take the orb with us as well. I can't have it falling into the hands of such a warlike species. It would be like the occupation all over again. That's not going to happen. I won't allow it and neither will my friends. We can administer the cure to everyone in groups. With your permission, we'll start right away. Very well. Begin the procedure. I'm sure many of us are eager to leave this place and begin a new life together. The Doctor and I will stay with Opaka and her people in case the Herc make another attack here. Once you've cleared the way to the transport site, we'll join up with you there. Let everyone made it out in one piece. Set up the pattern enhancer so we can beam out safely. There's no telling when the Herc will send reinforcements down. Well, it looks like the Herc have had enough for now. Let's get the rest of Opaka's people out of the colony while we can. The Herc might send a larger force to finish us off. Thank you, Julian. It means a lot to me to have everyone out safely, especially Opaka. We have a lot to talk about, her and I. For now, I think we should return to Deep Space Nine before the Herc come back to settle the score. Welcome to Deep Space Nine. Emissary, our paths meet again. Hello, Ben. It's good to hear from you. I'm glad we were able to return Opaka to Bajor safely. She's determined to follow the will of the Prophets and establish a new place of worship in the Gamma Quadrant near the Wormhole. Odo assures me that the Dominion are open to discussing this, but we'll see. Many of us have not forgotten the fate of the new Bajor colony, and the Dominion's role in that. As for me, my time as Kai is coming to an end. Opaka is the Kai that Bajor needs now. I intend to guard the Celestial Temple from the Herc and anyone else who would destroy the home of the Prophets. Best place to do that is Deep Space Nine, as part of Starfleet. I'll be Captain Kira the next time you see me. Thank you again for helping me bring Opaka home. I owe you one. The station is a basic resource transport hub, not exceptionally old. No life signs on sensors, it looks abandoned. I'm picking up trace levels of mineral resources in several storage areas, but there's nothing of note here. Unless the Herc are driven solely to consume an assortment of minerals. This is a very interesting place in that it's completely uninteresting to everyone but the Herc. Uh, don't go to warp just yet. We're picking up a distress signal over here. You should take a look. Looks like it's a Ferengi signal of uncertain origin coming from the Karema system. Hmm. 
I seem to recall Quark mentioning some business with the Karemans recently. <laughs> this can't be a coincidence. We should look into this. Quark might have bitten off more than... They're going for the station. What are they after? We should scan the station once we're done with these It seems we're not getting the whole story here. So, business as usual. Exactly, Captain. The other Dominion ships just left the system. We're on our own. The Herc are leaving. For now. What is this? Stand down, all of you. To what do I owe this unexpected visit? I hope you'll forgive the intrusion, Ambassador. We need to speak in person. What are you up to, Garrick? That's a very good question. What's this about, exactly? It's in regard to this device we found on Karema. Do you know what it is? No idea. Some new Karemin military tech, perhaps? Interesting. But no. The Karemins didn't make this. But it is a Dominion creation. And its purpose? I'm sure I have no idea, Ambassador. It does emit a signal, however. It's quite similar to that used by the Herc. Perhaps I should turn it on and show you? There's no need for that. I don't like where this is going, Garrick. Nor I, Captain. You see, I found a similar device. On Bajor. On Bajor? When? Right after the recent Herc attack, I'm afraid. Captain, scan the device. You'll find the soil residue on it is of Bajoran origin. It does. It's from the Kendra province. Well, th that doesn't mean that Odo... Enough, Nerees. I can't have you defending me on this. What? Garrick's right. These devices called the Herc, and we put them there. Explain. Now. We needed the Alliance's help immediately. There wasn't time for summits or diplomacy. So I found a high-value target and led the Herc to it. I also took steps to make sure their attack would fail. Bajor was never at risk. You have to understand that. You put my entire planet at risk. People died, Odo. Norris! Save it. I've heard enough. Uh, please continue, Odo. You were saying? I did what I needed to do to bring the Alliance into the war. I lied. Risked the lives of millions to save billions more. But there's more to this than a staged Herc attack. The other Founders are hiding things from me. If I challenge them now, I'll have no chance to find out what. So, for now, I have to play the part. Well, you're doing a great job of that, Odo. Or, should I say, Founder? Since when does the Founder stand guard duty, Odo? She doesn't. Let's find out what she's hiding. We don't have a lot of time. We may have held off the Founder for now, but she'll be back and she'll bring friends. Let's get down there and find what we came here for before every Jem'Hadar in the Quadrant shows up. Looks like the station's running on auxiliary power. We've got life support, basic lighting, not much else. If we're gonna get anything useful out of this relic, we'll need to get the main power back online. Unbelievable. It sounds like the Founders made first contact with the Herc in order to find a way to conquer them. It it's like Quark says, the bigger the smile, the sharper the knife. So, the Founders have been using the Herc to manipulate others for some time now. Bend the knee to the Dominion, or we'll stand back and let them ravage your world. Only now something's different. Something's changed. 
They can't keep the Herc in line with the Gemladar anymore. And we're all paying the price. I'm picking up something on my tricorder. There was a massive power spike on a lower deck. And now I'm reading a large number of systems cycling up. Something's happening down there. Agreed. Take your team and Captain Kira down to investigate. I'll remain here and pull as much of the data as possible. We won't get another chance at this. We must be close to the core. Hope we don't have to leave in a hurry. There's no way our ships can lock onto us down here with transporters. <laughs> Tell me about it. Let's stay focused on the mission. Now that we're closer to the signal, I'm getting better readings on my tricorder. I'm no doctor, but I'm pretty sure everything that came online down here has some sort of medical purpose. I'm still uncertain about Odo. I need to be sure he's still not a part of all this. The Odo I knew wouldn't have risked Pedro like that. This Odo seems arrogant and reckless, even dangerous. Well, that answers one question. These are medical stasis pods. Judging by what we heard upstairs, I think the occupants are Fakiri. It gets worse. I'm picking up life signs ahead. I'll bet some of the stasis pods down here have opened. From what we know about the Fakiri, they probably won't be happy to see us. Worf and Martok need to see this. I'm picking up traces of Ketracel white in these tanks. The Dominion probably manufactured it here to keep the Fakiri in line and took it with them when they left the facility. So, we have a station full of angry Fakiri with no way to pacify them. <sighs> We're lucky there were only a few of them. I don't want to be around if all of these Fakiri wake up. Let's see if we can find some way to keep the rest of these pods from opening. Keep moving. We're almost there. Odo, look out! Hold your fire. I think it's trying to communicate. You might be right. Listen. Are you insane? I'm relieved to see you well. It's fortunate we arrived when we did. A moment later, and that creature would have attacked and found him. Odo wasn't in any danger, Weyoun. That hurt was peaceful. It was trying to communicate with us. Reading a massive hurt fleet dropping out of orbit. Just as the Fakiri are warming. Looks like the Fakiri are pursuing the better part of Valor. Can't say I blame them. There's a lot of Herc out there. There's a moon nearby. Preliminary scans aren't showing much, but it's just the kind of place the Herc could be using to hide a base. Or a fleet. I'd like to take a closer look. The Pulsar's throwing off a lot of hazardous energy. Most astute. Scans are showing a lot Let's of make the appropriate rock, shield no adjustments. metals or compounds. It's a lot like... Like it's being completely stripped of anything remotely useful? The calling card of the Herc, if I'm not mistaken. Perhaps we should send down a probe, just to be absolutely sure. There could be some Herc down there, hidden by the nebula's effect on our senses. Barely Class D. No metals, complex compounds, liquids, or atmosphere. The interior is a complex maze of tunnels. Thousands of them. This could be a base of operations for the Herc. It appears to be deserted. Why don't we take a look around? This could be a prime opportunity. Let's meet on the Defiant. We'll need to make some preparations before we send an away team down there. I've sent a team down to establish a secure zone. They're ready for you, but you'll want to put on an EV suit before you beam down. We have some in that container for you to use. Once you're suited up, we'll beam you down to the secure zone. 
It's just below the planet's surface in a large cavern area. Everything's in order here. Define, do you still have a lock on us? Affirmative. If you need transport, there may be a slight delay due to pulsar emissions. Glad you're still with us. Whatever that was must have left you for dead. I'd get moving in case it comes back to make sure. Looks like you're in a series of tunnels that connect to a larger cavern. Garrick and Bashir are close to your position. They're moving into a large open chamber. Try to make your way to them. Be careful. Some of the crystal formations down there are emitting intense amounts of energy. We can't lock onto anyone with transporters, and the others are reporting the directed energy weapons won't work. Keep moving. You should head up to another chamber. The creature's in a passage near your location. Stay sharp. Garrick and I are moving into a very large, oblong chamber. And here I was, hoping those cozy, cramped little tunnels would make a Looks nice like vacation spot. the door to the spot. next chamber is locked. The readings I'm getting on that crystal are weak. It probably isn't usable. That one's got an odd harmonic. Doesn't seem to match the rest. That's the one you need. Use it to open that door. Slow and steady, don't get lost. Try to head up when you can. You can't fight that thing, run! There's a deep crevice ahead of you. See if you can get across. Hazardous energy and anti-gravity ahead. Use your thrusters. The creatures turn back. You must not like anti-gravity. Receiving your transmission from the console. Analyzing now. There's a lot of historical data and cultural references in there. The short version, the Herc used to be a peaceful species. There's talk of a great betrayal and some kind of epidemic. Then the entries just turn into gibberish. This one looks like technical data. Interesting. None of their starships had weapons until 2,000 years ago. Their first designs were way ahead of most species at that time, though. Huh. How did they go from geniuses to the ravenous eating machines we're dealing with now? <laughs> Kane, report. I just lost crewman Kane's vitals. Weir's comm signal is down, but he's still alive. Keep an eye out. Bashir and Garrick are just past this chamber. We're picking up some interesting tech on sensors. Interesting and old. Very old. Most of it predates the Federation by several centuries. Uh, are you reading those energy patterns on the other side of that opening? They're far more intricate than the others we've seen. We think there's some kind of ship ahead of you. It shows signs of damage. You might be in some sort of dry dock or repair facility. Interesting. There are large gaps in tech level between each section of the facility. It's as if the Herc learn as they hibernate. They wake up with a thousand years of advancements at hand and get ready to work. just flatlined that's Kane's helmet I have a feeling we won't find the rest of him
Tell me, was it part of your plan to draw every Herc in the sector to this system, Garrick? Because if it was, it worked with flying colors. We need to get out of here and fast. Our only hope is to punch a hole through the swarm so we can go to warp. Enough! Both of you, we don't have time for this. There's bigger problems to deal with here, starting with that swarm of Herc vessels nearby. Well done. The ship's taken heavy damage, but she'll survive. Well, we've bought ourselves some time. Let's hope it's enough. Julian, is your plan ready? It may be our best hope to end things now. It's as ready as possible, Captain. The challenge of frontier medicine, I'm afraid, is that there is never enough time. I've created a program that will enable the Herc to synthesize the compound they need to come to their senses. I've also put together a core sample of the compound for them to utilize in mass production. That is the easy part. And the hard part? What do you need to make this happen? From what we've learned about the Herc, the best way to make this happen will be to enter the data into one of their core computer systems. It'll need to be a command-level system with fleet-wide override authority. Systems of that caliber are only found on Herc Dreadnoughts. There's a Herc Dreadnought heading toward the planet as we speak. It's slow, so we should be able to intercept it. I recommend we engage that ship and disable it, if possible. We'll need to get a team on board to carry out Julian's plan. We did it. The Dreadnought's disabled. That ship is still crawling with Herc, though. Make sure your away teams are ready for a fight. I'll send some of my best. Duke and Rex will lead a Jem'Hadar away team, while Loras will assist Dr. Bashir. Right. Let's get the away teams on that dreadnought before it calls for backup. It's worse than we thought. Most of the Jem'Hadar lines have been broken. Even the Great Link is in danger. I'm going to coordinate our defenses at the Link. Meet me there. We'll meet you there as soon as we can. And Odo? We won't last long out in the open like this. Odo Takira, we're fortifying our position near the Great Lake. Understood. We're on our way. Too late. This founder is losing morphogenic matrix stability. There are more friendly life signs nearby. We should do what we can for them. This isn't on you, okay? Stay with us. We need everyone to fight the herd. Please tell me you have more than that are coming to help. The call's been sent, but they may not arrive in time. We'll do what we can with what we have. To. As always, until the end. I'm not sure I like the way you said that, Odo. Maurice, if we don't make it... No, now is not the time for this discussion. Look around. There may not be a better time. And I understand what you're doing. You do? Then you know how sorry I am. Yes. And that's a good thing. I know. I feel the same. Are you hurt? It's just a scratch. I'm fine. We're losing ground here, Odo. Keep fighting!
And here we are, once again. It's been quite a journey, hasn't it? Funny you should mention that. After we got back, Starfleet Command offered me a number of postings, even the center chair on one of those shiny new cruisers. <laughs> Tempting. But I chose to join the command staff here on DS9. Bajor and the Celestial Temple mean a lot to me, and this station is a good place to keep them both safe. Subtle, <laughs> but you're not wrong. Odo and I have a lot to work out before we're back to where we were, but... We've taken a few good steps in that direction. I think it'll work out. Eventually. <laughs> He's a hard man to read sometimes. Thank you for coming to visit. After all we've been through, it means a lot to have friends. Even if it reminds me of the ones we miss. Speaking of reunions, I think General Martok is leading the charge against the Bloodwine at Quark's. I'm sure he'd want to congratulate you on another glorious victory. May the prophets watch over you.